Hi, so looking at this series of videos on how to crack IM or any MBA entrance interviews. So we look at small small factors that are important and that makes a difference in the interviews. So my name is Patrick, I have scored a 6 times CAT 100 percentile. I also trained, been a panelist for you know MBA entrance interviews. So I have a fair idea as to the panelist perspective when, when you look at the interviews. So we run courses, been training students for the interview for last 18 years. So PI VAT GD training for management entrance, PI training for management entrance and we also do summer and final placement training for MBA students. So these are the courses that we run. So how do we, the topic today basically is honesty is the best policy. Very important to be honest in the interview. I mean one of the most important factor that is there between the interviewer and the interviewee is a trust factor. If a trust factor is not there, it becomes very, very difficult to crack. I mean, even if they have a little doubt with regards to your honesty, there's a high chance that you'll be rejected then and there. I mean, without even looking at the other parameters which are there. Very important to be honest and to be seen to be honest. Okay, so because if they believe your one answer, if they believe that you say one answer true, then obviously they will believe that your other answers are true. Okay. So if you come across a person who keeps on saying good things about himself and there's no negative about him, you will always have a doubt about him. I mean, how can he be so good or is he trying to bluff? But if you are able to agree to your negative factors readily, then the person in the interview will feel, oh, if he is ready to agree his negative points, obviously he will be speaking truth. He is not trying to butter up his answers and trying to present it in a much better way. So that trust factor is built. I am not saying that be honest. I mean, I'm not saying that uh, be blunt, be honest. That's a two different thing which is there. Be true with regards to whatever you say, okay, without uh, ma completely marring your chance into get selection. I'll come up with the example also. Also, when you lie, remember that panelists have taken many, many interviews. They understand when you lie and when you say the truth. Most of the time, they know it, okay. So, if you say, come and say the lie, you come to know not only maybe the body language, but maybe by the way you answer the question. May, you can come to know whether a person is lying or truth. You also in lot of interviews, there is an HR person in an interview who always observes you with regards to many factors. One the factor is whether your body language, what does it communicate, how do you do. So the moment you lie, there is a chance that it will be caught and you get rejected. So avoid as far as possible. right? And normally also what happens is once you lie, the panelists will not show it that you are lying, but they may ask you further questions that you keep on lying and then you end up digging up your own grave. I mean, it happens. So you lie, you may not speak complete truth and then the next question comes again, you further lie, again next question comes, you further lie and then you find yourself in a hopeless situation. So avoid such. They may not go into the series of lie factor, but even in one lie, if they are caught, you are, you know, out basically. So, uh, there was a student who was there who actually lost a year during his graduation because he was addicted to gaming. Okay, and he mentioned that in an interview, saying that he was asked like, why that one year gap? He said that I'm addict I was addicted to gaming and therefore I lost a year. I mean, this looks like a very negative thing to say in the interview. Yes, but he was honest and they liked his honesty. I mean, that doesn't stop that. He went about saying that, yes, I mean, do he lost a year? He went about, you know, training students for swimming and did a lot of other activities and went about defending himself uh, and tried to put in power. But yes, the fact that he was honest in terms of why he, you know, got a drop and then how did he come out of it shows that he was honest. And when an interviewer sees a person being honest in one of the answers and such big as this, obviously he tend to trust you in all the answers that you give. A trust factor is very, very important. And he was able to crack the interview despite what he mentioned as negative. I mean, as a matter of fact, he came across as a very positive answer after he gave. So planning your answers are very is also important. The way you answer, how you answer, all that becomes very important. But yes, build a trust factor in the interview. That could be the deciding factor in you cracking the exam. Because you would always you know, like a person whom you trust or you always want to select a person whom you trust than a person who can speak well but cannot be trusted, right? Thank you.